Good evening, fellow seekers of serenity, and uh, this is obviously uh, how to be happy. And tonight we are continuing with a look at meditation as a form of relaxation. Yesterday we had a practical demonstration of how breathing deeply can help you regain your composure, relax, and get back on top of things almost instantly and the thing about the breathing exercise is that it can be used for instant relaxation and it can be used to calm yourself down mentally it can also be used as a form of meditation so first of all um, uh, we're going to look tonight at um, what actual meditation is we probably need to continue tomorrow because I would imagine this is more than five minutes worth of topic so the first thing to understand is that if you have negative ideas about what meditation is they are probably based on mockery that you've read in or heard of via various media uh, it has gained a lot more acceptance recently because of very successful businessmen <coughs> who have shared their daily routine their morning routine on the likes of youtube uh, stating that along with exercise and writing down their goals for the day and eating breakfast and other things um, meditation is an important part of getting themselves composed so that they've got the mental focus and the physical focus sometimes to get on with the day so if it's good enough for somebody who's very successful then why would it be worth um, uh, sort of uh, dismissing and part of the problem with the image has in the past been the adoption of and the invention of certain religious style cults which included forms of what they claimed was meditation and so it's been associated with prayer and in our conservative societies we are by nature sometimes conservative creatures so if we have a religion and we hear about another religion which is almost not not aligned with our own beliefs then anything associated with that would be rejected but what those sects cults whatever were calling meditation may have been meditation but it was in fact a form of prayer now what is the distinction meditation is many things it's a bit like <coughs> calling saying there's a class of creatures called mammals right there are other animals so reptiles are animals obviously and and fish are animals mammals are animals which usually give birth to live young i'm thinking of the duckbill platypus here because that lays eggs but it's still a mammal and has mammary glands the female has mammary glands and gives milk to the child that, that is born so that is a class of animal and as i've just pointed out there's more than one kind of duckbill platypus is and obviously most most uh warm-blooded creatures are uh, mammals so a giraffe is a mammal and a dog is a mammal and a cat is a mammal but that is not to say that all mammals are cats so i say that the same way meditation is like at the, the mammal level then prayer would be at the distinct subcategory level so it would be like underneath mammals we've got the duckbill platypuses underneath meditation we've got prayer we have other forms of meditation too so uh and and and, and me meditation can also take many forms it can be quiet it can be loud um, it can involve activity it can involve complete stillness and we'll look into some of those tomorrow so 
if you think that by meditating you are joining some sort of religious cult, then you're not. You're not what you are any more than when you get in the shower or have a bath. You know, you, you are indulging in something which is semi-ritualistic in order to achieve uh, an, an end of a, a therapeutic nature or a, not just therapy in the case of having a shower or a bath. They're both relaxing, but at the same time, they're hygienic. And I would say that meditation is, performs a form of emotional hygiene by eliminating a lot of negativity within us. And we'll uh, look further on in the week as to how it does that, because that <laughs> what it does in order to do it uh, can uh, uh, seem a little disturbing to some people. OK, that's uh, six minutes. So tomorrow we'll look at the different kinds of meditation. And um, I've already suggested one of the easiest and best ones, but there are others which may suit you even even uh, more so. They'd, they'd be a better fit for you. Who knows? All right. So that's it for this evening. I hope that your quest for happiness continues and that it's improving as a result of these uh, little talks. And if you're finding them useful and you think that the world could do with lowering in its stress levels, then please like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow evening. Good night.